Hello everyone, today we're going to go over how to add simple wind to our meshes using the modeling tool from Unreal Engine and a master material. While some assets you may download may already have wind in their materials, some of them don't. And this is a simple way to add wind and select the zones of the mesh where you want the wind to be applied. In my case, I'm using these assets for the tutorial. Landscape Pro 2.0. It has some great assets. It has rocks, um, trees, and some materials for the landscape. We already used the rocks in the previous tutorial on how to blend meshes with the landscape, and today we'll be using the trees as an example. So, as you can see, here I have the same mesh replicated three times, but the wind affects it in a different ways. To work with this, I simply got one of the trees, duplicated the mesh, and put it here, and this is the original mesh. I created a simple material, where you have the color, the normal, and then the wind. For the color, I simply plugged the color into a desaturation node with this parameter, so I can control it in the material instance. And then I multiply it by a tint, which is also a parameter, so I can control it also in the instance. Specular 0, roughness 1, then the alpha goes into the opacity mask, since this texture, which is the color, has the alpha channel in the alpha channel. Um, so this goes into the opacity mask, then the normal plugs in. And then we have this simple grass wind node, which uh, is the one we're going to use for the wind. And we plug this one into the world position offset. Since it's a plant or a foliage, by default I have masked, but then in the material instance of the trunk, I have put it back to opaque and simply changed the textures. So as you can see, we have the pine trunk instance and the pine leaves instance here. In the wind, we're getting these four values and promoting them to parameters so we can affect each one in the material instance. And then here, we're multiplying it by the vertex color. So each mesh will have three vertex colors, red, green, and blue. I'm using green because it's the one I'm using in my previous project, but you can use red or blue. The important thing is that, if we go back here, you can see that the wind is being applied to everything, which is not ideal. One way we could avoid having the wind on the trunk is by simply selecting our mesh and inside the pine trunk disable the wind, although we didn't put an option for this, but we could do a switch wind we're gonna do a value of zero for this default is gonna be true so now we can choose between having wind or not so we go back here and we go to the pine trunk we should be able to disable the wind. And now we go back to our mesh. Everything is moving except the textures that have the trunk texture, except the parts of the mesh that have the trunk texture. That would be one way to do it. But as you can see, if we get closer, the branches are still moving too much when they are too close to the trunk. So they should be remained they should be still. Another way we can do it is I'm gonna enable the wind on the trunk again. As you can see now it's everything is moving. But here we have the same materials and the trunk is not moving. 
although we still have this problem that the branches are moving too much when they are too, when they are close to the trunk whereas on this one we also have fixed that's that part the branches are moving less or in some cases when they are close to the trunk they're not moving at all the way we achieve this without having to edit the material instance is that if we go to the modeling tool and with the first mesh selected I'm gonna go into the attributes of this mesh and I'm gonna select the option that says paint vertex colors by default you'll have all of these selected and you should have a white color maybe it depends on the mesh but since we're interested in the green channel we're simply gonna select the green channel and as you can see everything is green which means that because in the material we're multiplying the wind by the green channel the whole mesh is being affected if I were to select black here which is already selected and then I'm gonna use the connected type of brush we're gonna reduce the size a bit the follow we're gonna increase and we're gonna go down here and start painting our mesh. If I click accept, you'll now see that this part has no wind at all and the part that remained green still has it, which is exactly what we did with this mesh. If I select this mesh and then go back to paint vertex colors, we can see that some of the parts of these branches are black, some of them are green, and the rest of the trunk is black. Which means that when I click accept, the trunk is not moving. Only the parts that were green about these branches are moving, and the rest of the foliage is moving. And you can do this as accurate as you want. With this mesh, for example, I didn't want these branches to be moving at all. Actually, I'm going to paint this one also. And what I wanted to do was paint the tip of the leaves black so there would be a less wind movement in this part than in the rest of the leaf, giving it a more realistic look, as you can see. And this is a really simple way to control whether the wind is affecting your mesh. As you can see, this one looks a bit better than this one. This has been the tutorial for today. I hope you find it useful. It's a really easy way to add wind to your meshes and it looks decent, I would say. It's also really useful if you have, well, you can use this for any type of foliage. If you have grass, you don't want the bottom bit to be moving all around the place. You only want the top part to go with the wind. So you would simply grab the mesh, paint the bottom of it sorry, paint the bottom bit black and the rest would be green. And this was all for today. I hope you find it useful and that you liked the video. And if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.